In this GD Sync tutorial, we will be looking at how to spawn in objects such as projectiles and how to synchronize them. If we launch the game and press spacebar to shoot, bullets only appear locally and not on other clients. Let's head to the player scene and fix that. In the player script, we can find the shooting logic inside physics process. Currently, the code is simply instantiating a packed scene. Let's change this so it spawns bullets on all clients. To do this, we will add a node instantiator to the player scene. The node instantiator allows you to easily instantiate nodes on all clients. Make sure to assign the bullet scene to the instantiator. We will keep the other settings as is. Let's change the shooting code so it uses the node instantiator instead of the packed scene. We can instantiate a node using the instantiate node function. We can remove the add child since the node instantiator automatically adds the node to the scene. Let's make sure we assign ownership to the bullet so we can correctly synchronize it later on. If sync starting changes is enabled on the instantiator, all changes made to the root node of the instantiated scene will automatically be synchronized. Here we set the global position and the bullet direction on the root node. These changes are automatically synchronized to other clients when the bullet spawns in. Next, we need to adjust the bullet scene. Inside the bullet script, let's make sure we only run the projectile logic for our own bullets. We also need to add a property synchronizer to synchronize the bullet position to other clients. Let's set the process mode to physics process. Let's also lower the refresh rate to save some bandwidth. Finally, we need to handle bullet interactions. Let's make sure that bullets are properly destroyed on all clients and not just locally. We will do this by calling QFree both locally and remote. We also need to make sure kill is called properly. In this tutorial series, we will handle important code such as enemy AI on the lobby host. Let's change this code so it calls kill on the host. First, head over to the character script and expose the kill function. After that, we can call it on the host client. You can call a function on a specific client using call function, which requires you to input the target client ID. If we launch the game, we can see that bullets are now fully synchronized between clients. In the next tutorial, we will be looking at handling enemy AI. Thank you for watching and choosing GD Sync. See you all in the next video.